Hey girl, do you wish you could make your healthy habits stick, but life keeps getting in the way? Are you tired of diet culture telling you to shrink yourself when you'd rather just find true food freedom, move your body for joy, and feel and look good in your favorite leggings? Then you're in the right place. Think of this as atomic habits for women. Hey, I'm Emily Nichols, habit and fitness coach, millennial mom, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. I'm here to tell you there is an easier way than what we've been taught about health and our habits. How do I know? Because I've gone from former chronic dieter to habit hacker through the power of the system that I'm now going to teach you so you can finally stop dieting and just train for life via your habits. Remember, it's not your fault your healthy habits haven't stuck. We just have to do them differently. Are you ready to habit hack your health? Then let's do this. Hey friend, we are one week into the new year. Can you believe it? How are you feeling? How are you doing really, right? Well, I thought it would be a really good time to do a series with you. And so today we are starting a food freedom habit hacking series over the next few weeks since the new year brings uh, just so much diet culture to the forefront. And we we just don't prescribe to that here at our show and with our clients and our programming. Like, you know that, <laughs> you know that. Now, our guests this month and our weekly Habit Hack Thursday episodes will address many of the food freedom challenges that I know you all face, like your metabolism over 40, which we'll be chatting about that this week with one of our amazing guests restriction, body image, and what do you even eat, and just so much more. Now, I know one of the big ones, one of the big ones as far as food freedom challenges that we have at Hack In, my signature program, the Healthy Habits Accelerator Pod Course, is emotional eating. And I'm so excited to tell you that it is time for our next Habit Hacking Masterclass, and it is live today. Today is the drop of our private podcast series, the Habit Hacking Masterclass Emotional Eating Edition. So join myself and five other amazing contributors to chat more about emotional eating habits. So you can get it now for free, January 8th through the 21st, 2024. Now remember, this is an audio masterclass. So you can take it on the go because you know we are all about that atomic habits for women life. If you joined us this past fall for our very first habit hacking masterclass, we talked all about time and making time for your habits. And you know if you listened to that masterclass, you got some quick wins from each of our contributors and you were able to take action habit hacking your health. And I'm so glad to be bringing you these every quarter. We'll be alternating between those fundamental needs. We did mindset in the fall. Obviously, we're doing food freedom right now. We'll have another one later next quarter all around movement. Now, the first one was super successful, and I know this one is probably going to be even more because y'all wanted to talk about emotional eating. Our previous master classes are available in the Habit Hack Shop under master classes. Just go to habithackshop.co to listen to our previous one. So when I pulled my audience, I pulled my audience, I think back in October, maybe even September, because I knew in January I wanted to plan our next masterclass, and I know I wanted to do it around food freedom. I pulled and was like, do you guys want to talk about meal prep? Do you want to talk about like saving money like via groceries and your kids? Because I know that's such a hot topic. I was like, do you want to talk about emotional eating? And it was overwhelmingly like emotional eating, emotional eating, hard stop. That's what we want to talk about. And I get it. Like, I get it. I'm an emotional eater too. And in doing research for this, according to the American Psychological Association, 38% of adults say they have overeaten or eaten unhealthy foods in the past month because of stress. And honestly, for us women, I feel like we're a little extra stressed because that invisible load that we carry, right? Now, half of these adults, 49%, report engaging in these behaviors weekly, or more. And that can really add up, right? And not make us feel super great physically and even mentally. Now I feel it. And I know there are so many other factors that contribute to emotional eating habits. And we're going to have it hack that together with our amazing contributors. And 
bonus, they all have free gifts for you too. I'm so excited. This is all completely free. Like we are covering empowered emotional eating. We're talking about your cycle and cravings. We're taking back control. We're talking about your blood sugar levels and what your body is telling you. And just really thinking about that all or nothing mentality sometimes we have with emotional eating. I'll have a special episode on resetting your emotional eating habits with some very specific habit hacks, such as identifying your triggers and the actual emotions and habit loops you've created around emotional eating. This was so fun to put together. These contributors are so amazing. So go grab the Habit Hacking Masterclass Emotional Eating Edition now through January 21st. It's only free and live during this time frame. Start listening, start taking action, utilizing the free resources from our contributors. You can get it at habithackingmasterclass.com. Now the rest of the month, we'll continue our Food Freedom Habit Hacking series, and I am here for it, my friend. I'm so proud of you and what we're doing together, Habit Hacker, and I can't wait to hear how much you love the Habit Hacking Masterclass Emotional Eating Edition. Let's go. Hey girl, real quick before you go, did you know I have a secret podcast where I talk all about why most habit strategies don't work for us women? Spoiler alert, it's not our fault. <laughs> Visit bit.ly slash atomic habits for women. It's linked in the show notes to access my secret podcast series and have your biggest aha moment about why and how women have to do habits differently. And if you love the podcast, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way more mamas can find the show. Love and appreciate you, friend. We'll see you next time.